Hi everyone, this is Natasha, and this is, oh, sorry, Vita, Vlog Every Day in April, Day 23, and it is a uh, two birds with one stone video. I'm getting something ready. Well, I have to go into the office tomorrow, which is really unusual, but we have a new um, teammate that has joined us who's flown all the way out from California, and we're in Connecticut, uh, so we can meet in person. Um, because we're all telecommuters. Oh, and I just wrapped my needle around the stem. So I went to go. Um, I picked out a blouse I wanted to wear. It's really more like a slinky shirt. And it has a big... Hair on my tongue. Yuck. Um, it has a big hole on the shoulder. So I thought while I chatted, I will fix... Mend my... Mend that seam and talk to you just kind of, you know, while I do this. So, today's Vita is an open letter to myself as a 20-year-old. Um, I was just in the bathtub and I was thinking about this because I have a few years that has passed since I was 20. Uh, I'd like to think some wisdom came with those years. Um, so when I was 20, I was in college, impressionable, like many college-age students are. Never really had the desire to be legal drinking age because alcohol was never a big draw for me. Uh, my biological father was an alcoholic, by all accounts. I, do, I did not know him very well, do not know him very well, don't know where he is. So it was always something that I was pretty conscious of. I kind of wanted to stay away from it for, um, since I was a child. But the things that I did do when I was 20, maybe some 20-year-olds, some current contemporary 20-year-olds can take note, particularly girls. So my 20-year-old self... I wish there was an effective way for me to tell you that sex is not love. Never has been and never will be. Sex can be with love, but sex itself is not someone telling you they love you. And that took me a while to figure out. It's um. It's a tricky thing, particularly when your mom doesn't tell you those kind of things. Not that I really needed her to tell me birds and the bees, but you know, kind of share things. And it's interesting because my mother and I really only have about 18 years age difference. She was very young when she had me, but I don't know, maybe it's because she was still a child herself that she wasn't entirely prepared. Um, so that, that I would definitely tell my 20-year-old self, save it for as long as you can. Don't let it get dusty, but save it. Because giving it to the wrong people just causes you heartache. Particularly when you're so awestruck and misunderstand the fact that sex is not love. And... I guess this would apply to anyone at any age. Women are so preoccupied with how they look and how they look naked in particular. Guess what? Men don't care. If you're there, you're naked, and you're participating, that's all that really counts for them. They're pretty thrilled. Ever, we have, um, we live in a Cape, um, Cape Cod style house. And our house was a kit. Uh, it was a kit home in 19, built in 1942. When the kit homes arrived, the top floor, the second floor, wasn't added, was added on just the framing, but it wasn't finished off until the family actually had kids. So often they didn't have upstairs bathrooms at all. Well, our house has a half bath, but not a full bath. 
So in order for us to take a bath, shower, whatever, we have to go downstairs. I know it's a pain, colossal pain, but you know, you kind of get used to whatever you have. But if I, God forbid, traipse across the living room, even in my robe and my robe gaps open, my husband chases me, like literally, which is cute. I mean, I appreciate the fact that he feels that way, but that's what I mean. Men don't really care. If you're there and you're a willing and happy participant and you're naked, that's really all they care about. Really. I've taken a survey. I actually did. Um, I was at the local <laughs> Elks Lodge one day with my husband because he's a member there. And I did. I asked that question. It was mostly a male crowd. Uh, I think it was a Saturday afternoon, so it wasn't it wasn't like it was a late evening and everybody had been already snookered. <laughs> but it was the consensus that we as women um, obsess a little too much about what we may or may not look like naked. We're naked. Everything beyond that, besides that, once you're naked, men don't really hear anything else. Just ask. I bet you they'll tell you the truth. Particularly if you're in a loving relationship. So, oh, I'm almost done mending. That went really fast. And I use my grandmother's thread. Let me show you. It's an old Russian spool. Let's see if it'll focus. Isn't that cool? I have it on my desk at all times. So I probably should have used black thread, but you know what? Necessity is the mother of invention, right? So I'm nearly done. So what else would I tell my 20-year-old self? Don't obsess. Don't pout. Don't pout. Go out. Get out. Chat people up. Don't pout. I did used to go out by myself. Although it was always much more fun when you went out with friends, but... Yeah. Don't let life pass you by and then have regrets. I don't, I mean, I don't really have a, f I don't think I have regrets, full-blown regrets. I have things that I wish I had done differently. I wish I had gotten my master's, my PhD possibly, but I have life. Life has taught me a lot of very interesting and valuable lessons. That's how it goes with as you get older, hopefully, if you're paying attention. If you pay attention, there's a lot of free lessons out there. So that's my Vita vlog every day in April for day 23. I'm going to upload and go to bed. Tomorrow I'm going in the office. I made, oh, I'll put a picture of what I made. I made uh, cinnamon streusel top muffins for um, for the team to bring into work tomorrow. Since we get together so seldomly, I thought it would be nice. And I know someone else, some other people are making things too, so I will bring my camera with me and see who's willing to go on, on film. So tomorrow's Vita might be a bunch of office stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you, and it helps me out. Night.